Hi, it's Matt Carter here with some more internet marketing tips. In this particular video, we're looking at how to buy a domain name. I'm going to take you through exactly how to do this, the different options available to get maximum benefit. Even if you've never had a website online before, don't worry about it. I'm going to make it very, very easy to understand so you can go off and do this right away. As I mentioned on all my videos, if you want more advice, free videos, go over to my blog, mattsmarketingblog.com. The URL is on the screen. There's a huge community of tens of thousands of people that follow my coaching. Um, all free stuff over there. You might want to join us over there. But for now, let's go and check out um, how to buy a domain name. So the first thing you need to consider when you're going to buy a domain name is before you even get close to buying it, is you need to work out what you want to use the domain for. Do you want to have a branded type of domain or a keyword rich domain? Now I'll explain what I mean by that now. A branded domain is something that's very easy and catchy to remember. Um, sites like Groupon, you know, that that's brandable. It doesn't really tell you just from reading the domain, you don't really exactly know what it's all about. Like like Google. I mean, if someone you told somebody in the Amazon who lives, you know, in the middle of nowhere, maybe they let's just say for argument's sake they speak English. <laughs> if you told them, you know, what do you think when I say the word Google, they're not going to think, oh, a, gi a giant search engine that finds things. It's just a brandable word, you know. And you can go down that path. It's very catchy and easy to remember. Or the other option is you can put keywords into your domain. Um, like for let's say for life insurance, somebody wants to build a life insurance site, they might go for term lifeinsurance.com. That's got actual keywords that people would be typing into Google in the domain, and it's very obvious what the domain is because those phrases are actually built into the keyword. It's not it's not so brandable like something like Groupon or Google. So what's the advantages? Well, brandable domain names are easy to remember and they get passed around and they somewhat look more professional. All big companies have pretty brandable domains. You know, Apple, all these big companies are very easy, and I think they come across as more professional. As far as having the keywords in it, when you when you get into search engine optimization, and I teach a lot of that, by the way, over at my blog, that's when you want to start thinking about keywords in your domain. But really, I think if you're serious about your website, try to get a more of a brandable domain. Even better if you can have a mixture of branded and keywords. We'll have a look at an example in a moment. The other option you do have before I show you where to buy a domain, I'm going to do that in just a second, is you can either buy a new, brand new domain, or you can actually buy an aged domain. You can buy a domain that's already been around that somebody wants to get rid of on their selling. Um, the advantage of having an aged domain, if it's had a website on that domain for some time and, it, and it's had some sort of presence in the search engines, that can actually give you a bit of a head start because starting with a brand new domain does take a little bit longer for the search engines like Google to trust that domain. There's a little bit of a period where Google's like, well, you're brand new. We don't know anything about you yet. We don't trust you. Whereas an aged domain, well, it sort of has instant trust already if, if, like I said, they've had a website on there and it's been you know, a decent website. So step three is to go to Namecheap. It's the cheapest and I think the best place to buy domains from. You can get them for $10 a year, which is you know, it's pretty affordable. So let's go and have a look at that now. I'm going to flick over to Namecheap um, now. So there's Groupon, by the way. I'll come back to that in a moment. Namecheap's just found at Namecheap.com. You go over here and you just type in the search box what you want to, you know, or the sort of domain that you want to want to get. So if it was like, let's go for term life insur insurance. Whoa, insurance USA. Let's put that on the end because I'm sure term life insurance will be gone. You just put, you click search. Now depending on where you want to build your website, if it's in the United States, then go for a .com. The .com and the .nets are gone. .org is also not a bad extension. If you can, though, try and go for the .com. If you can't, .net, .org are also pretty decent domains to go after. Um, if you want to rank your website in the UK or Australia or New Zealand or another country, then you're better to get the domain extension for that country. Don't go for these general uh, domains because they're not what you want. So you can get additional domain extensions here. Otherwise, if the domain extension you want isn't there, then you can just simply Google, go back to Google, and just type in buy.com.au domains. And then you'll find, an, a, this is if you're in Australia where I am, and then you'll find something like crazydomains.com.au, and you can go there and buy your Australian domain. So just keep in mind, wherever you're wanting to get traffic to your website, it's better to buy that local extension, either the .com.au or the .com. So keep that in mind. Um, when you're, oops, excuse me, I just flicked away from where I was. I'll just 
scoop back there. So keep that in mind when you're actually going after your domain that you um, you get the right location for where you want to be um, targeting the traffic. So let's say you want to do it in America, then go for your .com, .net, .org. If you can't get the domain you want with a .com, try some different variations. One thing though, don't go don't go doing this sort of stuff, putting hyphens in between to get the domain you want. That, although you might find the domain, it looks ridiculous, it looks totally unprofessional, and Google doesn't like seeing multiple hyphenated domains because it just looks spammy. And they don't Google doesn't take that seriously anymore. You used to get away with that years ago, but Google's changing a lot, so avoid that at all costs. One hyphen's okay. Don't go to anything more than one hyphen, and try and avoid all hyphens, really. They're not the greatest look for your website. So, no hyphens.com.net.org. Once you've found the domain that you think works for what you want to do, whether it be brandable or a keyword like this one, or a mixture, then all you need to do is sign up to Namecheap, get your free account, and then you can purchase with PayPal or a credit card, and then you own that domain and you need to renew it once a year, and it's only $9.98 a year. So it's not expensive. That's the easiest way to buy a domain. So just to recap in this video, make sure that you either go for a brandable or keyword one make sure you don't have too many hyphens none if possible if you're trying to rank in a local country get the local domain extension and also once you've got that you're going to need some hosting to host your website and your domain name and we'll look at that in, in coming up videos but this video is all about how to buy a domain name just quickly here's a couple of examples of brandable sites Groupon there's no it's not a keyword rich domain it doesn't say group buying website that would be a keyword rich domain and it does have a bit of an advantage for ranking in the search engines but really over time the brandable domains win out and something like Groupon is very easy to be remembered and passed around here's another one flipper this is where you can buy and sell websites if you actually want to buy a ready-made website that's you know making money you can go in here and join the auctions it's just like you know any auction it's an online auction and you can buy a website if you want to you know the complete website just you know spend some time getting familiar with it don't jump in and spend all your money right away you want to make sure you know what you're doing when you're at flipper um, another place where you can buy domains that are expired I said you have an option of new or aged domains is at dropday dropday.com you can come along here and all these domains are for sale and they've got age and you know some of them have got some good authority in Google it's going to cost you more money though to buy a domain like um, from here than a brand new one so if you're just starting out on online marketing you want to get your first website up and your first domain I don't recommend buying an, an age domain that's for some when you've got a bit more experience for now though if you're brand new stick with Namecheap, follow the tips that I've given in this video and you'll have absolutely no problem having your first domain and getting your website online it's not as difficult as it might sound if you've never done it before and I've got more tips like this over at my blog if you want to head over there I'll just quickly put up my blog again on the on the site on the screen for you you can check it out in your own time but I give away more free advice and then I can in this video so there's my um, it's called mattsmarketingblog.com it's a lot about affiliate marketing but also a whole lot on internet marketing in general uh, there's a picture of myself and you can go and check that out in your own time so that's all for this video on how to buy a domain name I hope you found it useful plenty more videos on my channel talk to you soon bye for now